show a video on how I use Trello to manage my content, uh, both for myself and for my virtual assistant who helps me to schedule my content and share it to make it a little bit uh, quicker and easier. So this is um, one of my many Trello boards. I have about uh, four or five Trello boards that I use for different things. And content has its own Trello board because, you know, it's such an important part of what I do. So I wanted to kind of show you um, as an example of how I use this and uh, just in case that this is helpful for you. So to start with, um, I have the columns which have the topics of, um, sorry, the types of content which are going to go out. So I've got emails and many chat here. So those are going to be things that are going to be sent out. I've got future videos and then future blogs. And then within here, I have different themes. So you can see that um, personal branding is a personal branding label that that one would need a personal branding label. Then I've got um, mindset, productivity, um, micro videos, lots of different kinds of themes and types of content. And um, what I then do is um, I plan out because these are whenever I have ideas, I just put them in here. So um, if ever I'm just like walking down the street or whatever, you know, any kind of those ideas come to you, or I'm in the gym, I put them straight in here instead of into a note on my phone so that I know that everything is in here. Even if I've got ideas, you know, of notes, I actually just put the notes straight in here because it's so much easier when it comes to managing it. Then what I do is um, I then organize um, the month. So I go through and I think about the blogs I would most like to write about next or videos I'd most like to record and I put them in the next month category and that's just how I organize them. So um, if I think about what I'd like to do, um, so for example, that's actually one I did this month. For some reason that's not in the um, in the list. So um, I would organize it out. So let's think about the videos I might like to record in October. I might like to do brand communication, um, three key differences, uh, why we need more influencers, and um, I don't know how to use Slack for personal branding, for example. Or maybe actually I could say um, Trello for personal for content because that's actually what we're recording now content planning, right? So now I know that that's really organized um, in terms of my videos. And then blogs, I might do the same things. Uh, okay, ROI of personal branding. Um, we, oh, we've got a similar, we've got a video more, I can maybe do a blog as well. And then maybe, um, oh, that's a good one, content commandments. And then I might think actually I'm going to do one around something around mindset and just kind of mix it up because I don't want it to be too much. Like personal branding, I tend to go for like the 80-20 rule. So I do do 80% I'd say personal branding, but maybe it would be worth putting in a few other things, um, you know, some different themes uh, to make it a little bit different. Um, and then that's next month plan. So when I have my batch content day, which is normally on a Tuesday morning, normally between about eight and 12 on a Tuesday, I try to create um, content each week. I will usually batch do videos. I normally do two filming sessions um, a month and then blogs, uh, a blog a week or whatever, however I, I fit my time in on that Tuesday. Then um, once they're written, I put them into the HANA column, um, which means that they're written um, and what I need to do is basically write the copy that needs to go with the videos to share them. Because what actually happens is when things go into this ready for sharing column, my virtual assistant actually turns it into everything it needs to happen to become a video or a blog. So I have the link, which um, often has a link to the video um, for her to then upload straight into YouTube. I then have the copy and then we actually have a checklist of all the different places that she's going to share it. So um, she takes care of all of that. And these are, um, we use the same kind of template. So you can see here, link to the blog, title, uh, featured image, date to share, the summary for social media, an email to send out, the many chat message to go out, and then all of the different places for it to be shared. And that's how we know that one blog is getting all of that, um, all of that traction. Because the thing is, obviously, creating content does take time. And you want to make sure that it's getting enough kind of, um, what's the word, uh, you're getting your, your bang for your buck, basically. So you know, these are going out onto Medium, they're going onto LinkedIn, uh, Quora, Reddit, um, creating five different pins on Pinterest. And then we just tick these off as we go so that we know that every piece of content is done. And then uh, when that's done, we move that into the shared and complete column. And these are all the content you can see that have been shared and completed. 
So it just means that I, once I've actually recorded, for, so for example, this video that I've recorded right now, I will then share a link to that and uh, the copy and then everything else will be done for me by uh, Denise, my assistant, and she'll get it all done so that content really isn't taking me that much time and I am able to keep that prolific content creation going. Um, and that just keeps it all really organized. So I know that my whole content life is all in one board. So I really recommend thinking about using Trello for your content to keep you, um, keep you organized and to keep, um, to keep you kind of prolific with your content. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, do let me know in the comments. And if you'd like any more videos around tools for your personal brand, then please let me know. Bye.